All right, I have a confession to make. I knew Pelotons were expensive, but I didn't exactly realize how expensive. There's no way I'm paying that much money for an exercise bike. I'm gonna make my own. Alright, so the first thing I had to do was order this $115 bike trainer thing from Amazon. It was a highly rated one. I didn't do a whole lot of research, to be totally honest. I unboxed it, and as you can see, it mostly just came assembled. There were some instructions that I opened up and looked at and kind of perused, and then that just sort of... Yeah, I, I just mostly ignored them. How hard could it be? It's mostly assembled, and I had this bike from my friend Carson. Thanks, Carson. And all I had to do was take this metal rod thing out of the back wheel, put in another metal rod that came with the bike trainer, and then put the bike onto the trainer by attaching it to that metal rod. This part was kind of annoying, but I eventually got it, and you can see the bike is now securely on the trainer. Next, I attached this thing to the handle. That's what changes the resistance on the back wheel. That's kind of handy. And then finally, this went under the front wheel to hold the bike in place and make sure you don't fall off. Now the instructions told me I was ready to go. I was excited. Thumbs up, time to try it out. But first, I wanted to attach my phone to it. So it came with this little phone holder, got that set up so I could have my Peloton app running. And now I was ready to hop on the bike. And I gotta say, it worked pretty well. Even when I was pedaling really fast, the bike was really stable. You can see just a couple of wobbles here, but nothing too bad. The only issue I had was the resistance didn't get very heavy, even when I cranked it all the way up to six. But for 115 bucks, I got the workout I needed. <laughs> 